Avenger 2 is activated in New Avengers issue 10. So this issue of New Avengers didn't have a lot to do with the whole Pleasant Hill Avengers standoff event. Much like its last issue, this was just mainly about the team setting up for their next arc, which was sort of like how Illuminati was set up in their issue of the standoff time, but they actually tied into Pleasant Hill. This one, however, doesn't really. All it does is basically serve as a way to get Rick Jones off of Avengers Island and also tease Avenger 2 which is this alternate island where Cannonball and all those other guys are hanging out are ready to activate the secret Avengers. The parts that did tie in however were pretty cool. We got Clint Barton arrested by S.H.I.E.L.D. and being questioned by Songbird and Dum Dum Dugan and everything so I'm guessing it's going to have some ramifications on his status as a S.H.I.E.L.D. member which is kind of cool since uh, in the movies, in the movie universe anyway, he technically hasn't been a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent for a long time. So I'm guessing they might be moving him around to sort of mirror his movie counterpart where Clint in the movies is really just an Avenger. Uh, he doesn't really have any more ties with S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, considering that S.H.I.E.L.D. doesn't technically exist anymore. I like that they're sort of moving him in an interesting way and everything. It's going to be interesting to see what he does after this. I think he's going to be uh, involved with the new Thunderbolts book I'm not really too sure about that yet but other than that it didn't really tie in a lot there wasn't actually I think there was like one mention of Pleasant Hill and that was by Dum Dum Dugan during the interrogation uh, other than that it didn't particularly tie in we got a little bit of a fight between the uh, American Kaiju and Avenger 5 and that didn't last very long they just blasted him with gamma radiation and he turned back to a normal guy so we don't exactly know what's happening with him either so he will be taken off somewhere what i did like however was the little part we got from the aim soldier how he's talking about the master plan from the scientist supreme and everything the supreme leader and everything i thought that was really cool it was really funny as well and a little light-hearted and clint had a couple of light-hearted conversations with rick jones like when rick was firing i think it was camestro's gun at the shield agents he's like Dude, you could have taken someone's foot off with that gun. Uh, like, little funny bits like that are kind of what made this issue for me. Uh, but other than that, you could probably get by without reading this as part of the Pleasant Hill event. I'm going to give this comic an 8 out of 10.